All right, riding the Zion National Park Scenic Drive. Chilly, 57 degrees. Morning. Good, how are you? Good. Like this? What's that? You like this job? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> What's that? Right? Beautiful. What are they doing here? We have to clean out the drainage ditches every year. Ah, uh, okay. Off the sand and rock. Like the same time every year? Yeah. Spring? Monsoon season, otherwise we have a lot of issues with water. Yeah, but everything's not flowing well. Rocks and stuff. Yep. Up fast. Busy out here this morning? Yeah. Is it? Yep. It's busy every day now. Yeah. Yeah, I was here in the winter. It was great, except for the week. We stayed for two weeks between, um, we were here between Christmas and New Year's, and that was pretty busy, but. Yeah. Yeah, it slows down January. Yeah, January. it was great. That, the, that second week in January was nice. Right after New Year's. Yeah, usually January is quiet and then February it just starts around. Yeah. Yep. We were here a couple years ago in February. Just it's the two days. Where are you from? Pennsylvania. Oh, yeah, whereabouts? Um, about 30 miles northwest of Philadelphia. Oh, okay. Eastern. I've never been to Philly. That's, yeah. I've been to Erie, Bradford. Where, where do you live? I grew up in upstate New York, Buffalo. Oh, okay. I, used to, I was born in Albany. Oh, okay. Not too far from... Yeah, Niagara Falls. Area. Oh, beautiful. And then you come to this, man. This is, this is a lot nicer. Yeah, yeah. The falls itself is still pretty, but the city is dumped. Yeah, the but yeah. Disgrace. Where do you live now? Uh, in Springdale. Okay. Yep. 
I can let all these people behind me go and then I'll yeah, I'd like to be able yeah. to It's nice where I live, right outside of Valley Forge. Valley Forge National Park is right in my backyard, so I get some, you know, oh, nice. some peace and quiet. But the suburbs are just, just, yeah, it's just unfortunately the city is just expanding. You know, kind of like, kind of like, yeah, like I was at St. George yesterday. And you can see all the new development just oh, that's crazy, spreading huh? out. That's the fastest growing city in the nation. Is it really? Yeah. yeah, I can see why. I mean, it's so close to everything. Between... I came out here in '86. First time I came out here, oh wow! Had a vacation. My brother lived here. That he's built mm -hmm. houses in St. George. St. George, there's nothing to this. Barely. Now there's what over over a hundred thousand people in St. Oh, George. Hurricane, yep. that was small. But now Hurricane in St. George are building out. Yeah, you can see. Yeah, uh, Washington. I guess that's the name of the little Washington. town. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I drove. I rode my bike on the tra the Virgin River Trail in St. George yesterday. After doing hikes in here, I was I was beat so <laughs> yeah. I figured I'd ride a little bit today yeah, nice. in the park Good. yeah really a lot, yeah. yeah I mean it's pretty much like that everywhere yep. like where, I, where I'm, I'm I lived we were like the only new apartment building and now there's like four new ones just in my little town which has like 4,000 people in it yeah. kind of like the size of Springdale but that is just growing we can see all the new stuff in Springdale. Yeah, there's only 800 in Springdale. That's probably Coming to you, you're good to go. I'll let the music. Okay, yeah, I don't have service at home, but yet I get service in the middle of the park. That's weird, Yep. Right near the Pennsylvania Turnpike. I lose service. Ah, oh, that's where, yeah, right up north. Northwest, right? Bradford? Yep. Don't get out there. My parents live um, in Huntington, which is like in between Harrisburg and Pittsburgh, near State College, Penn State. Yeah. Don't get out there all the time. Okay, all right. Appreciate it. Nice talking to you. you too. I'll see you on the way back.
doesn't get any better than this.